All right, this is uh, how to pick and set up a bow. Um, you can't see the full expression of my face because it's being limited by this cloth material that's saving lives. But um, I got an old bow, got a Matthews no cam, and we're gonna kind of switch things up and uh, go from start to finish, how to pick a bow, what kind of bow you want for what you're gonna be doing, um, and the things that you need to put on that bow. So let's go. We're at archery country, right? Yep. Austin, Texas. Woo woo. And uh, I need a bow. Right My bow is old. Ready to upgrade? Yeah, need, definitely need to upgrade. But um, you know, lots of pig, lots of deer, and, um, and you know, and then if something, the communists come through, clip the wires, and I gotta go full blown John Rambo style, explosive arrow tips, bringing down helicopters. Right on. Right on. Stand by. Are you hanging out mainly in Central Texas? Are you going a little bit of everywhere? Uh, New Mexico, Colorado, Montana. All right. Uh, yeah, yep. all, all over. All but, over. you know, like the the times of, uh, I got a lame deer in my backyard, I need to put it down, that's gonna be a bow. Yep. Or let's just go kill a pig, gonna be a bow. Um, and then, uh, you know, elk in New Mexico and West Texas, bow. Right on. Yeah. yeah, let's set up a few, shoot them, cool. see what feels good. Right. So the VXR, they have two models. You have the 31 and a half, the taller bow, and they have the VXR 28 we have over there. I'd recommend shooting both, see what feels good. Um, you know, you're going to sacrifice maybe mobility and speed for uh, a more stable, smoother platform. So okay. really not a huge difference. I would see what, what feels good to you cool. between those two. Do you have your old bow, too? I do, yeah. Let me yeah. grab it. Let's grab it, because we can pull the size off of that. Let me set one up and let's see what it looks okay. like. Stabilizers, sights, quivers, niches, arrow webs. A lot of stuff. Should, we, should I just hold, hand you a, a color I like, just in case we get it perfectly right the first time? What do you think? This will be the color of my helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shoot it. Okay. See what it looks like. It's maybe like 65 pounds right now. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. We have a little bit longer arm than that. Can't feel the, the string on my nose with this thing. So I like to tell people, just think about bringing that string to your nose. Yeah, that feels good. Sweet. You had this one, that FDE. I do. Mm. <laughs> I do. I still didn't care about color, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, but you got one of them. See the green, and you're like, yeah. oh. You like that guy? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Huh? So, rest. To me, this is one of the most important things, direct interface between your bow and the arrow. So, you know, the QAD has been our long time, most popular. Uh, the Matthews, the new Integrate, it's on a dovetail mounting system, so it's a little bit more secure there. Um, another good one is the, the HHA. Um, I like them equally as well. Okay. But okay. that's gonna be the latest and greatest. So it's got a metal launcher. Basically the only difference between these two this one's micro adjust. It's got an aluminum launcher on there instead of the plastic launcher. Okay. Yeah. Or black. No, no. That's, that's our color, right? Yep. Okay. That's it. And then we can go and try some out and really kind of see what what works for you. If I'm gonna make a recommendation, it's gonna be between an eight and a ten. Six inches isn't really doing much for you. Twelve's a little uh, cumbersome, like in and out of a truck. Mm -hmm. Personally, I run a ten but I think an eight's another good choice. Okay. Just a real tree well, we could try it out, see what you think. Do you, like this one? Do you have arrows you wanna keep um, shooting? F and J's? Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that? Okay. You wanna stick with that same sight, or you wanna do yep. something a little different? Um, yeah, this looks like weird to me. Those, that, right, prong. So. This is kind of the uh, updated version of what you got there, the Rayotech. Okay. The CBE Engage would be another good one. Like if you want it on a dovetail, that one's all micro adjust. 
that. For putting it together. I'll tie it in. Good to go. How does it feel, man? Feels good. Th this one was me. <laughs> Take that outlier out. We're, we're pretty good. Fast bow. We're still a month and a half out from going to go shoot anything. The thing was shooting like that. Dude, awesome seeing you. It's nice meeting you, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, you. For, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah. Dude, do you want to have me? Look at that, dude. Yeah, that's the, that's the money shot. Pretty sweet. Well, I'm in a good mood now. You know, shoot. <laughs> You got the tool, now you gotta go do the work. Anyways, these guys are awesome. I'm pumped about the bow. Now I gotta go practice. So, uh, kids are in bed. Chickens are, they hear me walking, so they're trying to come follow me. It's like a mama duck with her little ducklings. But got my new bow. No proof is in the pudding. You know, you don't wanna learn your limitations when you're trying to find some food. Here's all my practice dead deer. Nice. They started like an hour before sunrise. I'll work out a couple of hours after sunrise. Now here we're at sunset. Finally get a minute to relax. Feels pretty good. See another one of my chickens over there. They're following us. Well, I think we got a winner. Feels good. That last bow that uh, Matthew's chilling was so smooth, so easy. The pull was super easy. But this is just hitting so hard. 